you've actually helped me. This is something I kind of want to write about soon because there's this kind of idea that you have to, like, you know you have to show up and do the same thing over and over again to get do better, but you also know that you have to be doing things differently in order to find something new. There's a, there's a term called, um, I don't know if it's in psychology or what, it's explore versus exploit. So, you know, you, you want to exploit the things that you're good at and that you know while also exploring. It's kind of that, it's kind of that laser-focused left brain thing while also that kind of right brain looking around explorative thing. It's, it, and, and that's something that as a creative person, I'm just like very, very interested in, and that most creative work, it deals with these kinds of tensions that seem like you're being pulled between opposites, um, these kind of paradoxical situations. And it's really the, the, the tension of those things pulling at each other that creates the energy of the work. And that's why like, you know, when you read about a movie where they didn't have a very big budget and their main star died right away, <laughs> or, you know, whatever. And like the studio was going to shut them down. It created all this like tension and like sometimes tension, like things snap, but sometimes there's like great energy, you know, in the, in, in that, in that tension that's formed. It's kind of like a rubber band. And this, this kind of, um, when you're saying that, I thought of the conversation we had before about struggle, right? I feel like that struggle almost creates that tension in a way. Yeah, I mean, I think that that's the stuff that life is made of. And I actually think that, like, so there has to be a little bit of tension in your life to even want to make anything. And people are like, what are you talking about? I'm like, well, think about it. If you're perfectly happy with how the world is, why would you add anything to it? Why would you change it? Like, if people are like, huh? And then it's like, well, to be a creative person is to be somewhat maladjusted in the sense that you feel like there needs to be something else. You know, like, you look around at the world, you think, oh, well, this is pretty good, but you know what? I think we could do a little better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? I mean, that really is the creative impulse. And, I mean, that's a very human impulse. But there has to be a little bit of friction or, or a tension between what is and what could be. And so it's that tension between reality and imagination that I think is, you know, it's really rich. And, and that's where all the stuff comes from. So when you talk about struggle, there is a very basic struggle, which is – here is life as I know it, and but I feel like it could be like this, right? Or life, life is like this, and I feel like it could be like this. The gap between those two creates a little bit of a struggle, and um, you know, I'm always telling, I'm, I'm, t I always try to remind people that to be a creative person means that you're again somewhat maladjusted because healthy people you know sometimes healthy people it's like well this is pretty good is there any work to do no well i think i'll relax <laughs>